Hi, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah, if you are new here. Today we are continuing our legacy challenge. It's been a minute since I played this. We have a very small household right now, which is going to be... I have a feeling it's just going to be really nice. It's going to be really refreshing. It's going to be really easy. We are on Gen... I don't even know. I keep forgetting. Sav, Max, Olive. Am I missing someone? Why do I feel like there was someone in between Max and Olive? Probably not. Charlie, Zoe, Edison. So we are on Gen 6. Ooh. So what we're going to be doing in this episode, we are going to be attending graduation with Edison. I think we're probably going to move Evangeline out, quote unquote. She'll still be on the lot, but she won't be in the family anymore. And then we'll see how old the baby is as well and see if we want to move them in. We might wait till the next one, um, but let's just hop in and find out, shall we? All right, so here we are back in the compost household, Willow Creek, our new home for Edison. Uh, so what is happening? Why can't I click you? Oh, geez. Okay, there we go. All better. <laughs> so he is over here practicing his valedictorian speech. Um, what is this? You have started the lifelong aspirations discovery quest where you'll learn about aspirations and earning satisfaction points. Already know how to achieve your aspirations? You can always cancel this quest. Yeah. End. <laughs> Oh my god, it's treating me like I've never played this game before! I'm offended! So he's practicing his uh, valedictorian speech, which is taking place tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, graduation, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Now, some of you guys uh, wanted me to, or some of you guys suggested that we uh, get the vault from Get Famous, which allows us to have more money than $10 million. So I'm kind of thinking that we should do that because I don't want there to be a cap on how much money we can have. That's so lame. I'm just going to filter by pack because I honestly have no idea where it is in the catalog. Oh, I downloaded the Crystal Creations pack. Ooh, I'm excited to uh, look at these items. Ooh, this plant looks nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. Packs, get famous. Give me the loot. Uh, so we have this this one and this one vault door and vault huh uh hmm are you frugal to the point of excess a bit of a scrooge a duck well we know exactly what you need this vault is perfect for hoarding those shinies and just imagine the possibilities once you've amassed a sim or two size pile okay where should we put this i'm thinking maybe like down here in the legacy uh the legacy collections room. I don't know why we have this cauldron still. I think I might need to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll just uh, add another room then. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, well, we shall see uh, what that does for us in regards to money. Um, I'm wondering if the money just like goes directly into the vault or if our money just continues to go up. Let's, let's see. I hope that you guys have been really well though. I just got back from Peru. We took a little mini vacation over there. Uh, it was, it was super cool. Definitely a culture shock, but everyone was so nice. The food was delicious. Um, yeah, it was awesome. The beaches were really cool. Um, like the stone beaches. Like it's really hard to like lay out and like enjoy the beach when it's just a bunch of rocks, but <laughs> it was still really pretty and really, really dope to like experience that. Evangeline, so they're both young adults now, yeah? We aged them up in the last episode. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 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 yep. So Evangeline got vegetarian, geek, and creative, and then Edison is creative, geek, and genius. He also got a little valedictorian uh, trait. So that's really cool. Um, I'm thinking, I did give Evangeline a job, yeah? I did, we gave her the entertain entertainment career so that she can eventually become a comedian. That was the vibe that we, that we went for. So with for rent, I can set this whole house to be her, 
How do I even say it? Because she's not going to be renting it. I'm going to put it for zero dollars. So she'll just, like be on the lot and we can visit her whenever we want to. But uh, like we don't have to control her. She doesn't have to pay rent or anything like that. Um, everything should be all fine and dandy. I have yet to try this yet. So yeah, we're going to be doing that together, which is going to be pretty cool. I don't know if I want to do it in this episode or not. Um, let's see how old the baby is as well. Okay, she's still an infant. I need to make sure that their family is in my unplayed families and not in my played families because they won't age otherwise. Okay, yeah. They are unplayed, so that's good. I'm honestly like super glad that we don't have to deal <laughs> with her when she's an infant because oh man that infant stage. Oh man that infant stage. I have been like debating on if I should get a mod that makes infants easier because like my like motivation and drive to take care of an infant is like the lowest it could possibly be especially when there's multiple like it's kind of impossible to be honest their needs just go down so freaking fast and my whenever i do try and play the infant phase they always age up with the unhappy infant trait and i'm just like listen i tried my best okay <laughs> i tried my freaking best even when there's a nanny they get the unhappy infant tra infant trait is it just me or do you guys have that too or do i just suck at uh taking care of children I need to know. I must know. All right. So Edison, uh, we did get him his job. He started at level three. So, um, civil designer. Is that really what we picked? I guess so. Yeah, I think we just wanted to impress Teddy. So we did the uh, eco lifestyle career. <laughs> uh, we need to reach level three in logic. So uh, gosh, we don't have a chess table in this house. I think that could be a nice addition, like maybe right here. There's a lot of empty space in this house because I wasn't really sure like what we were going to do and like what kind of items we needed. So I'm just going to like buy a little chess table for this empty spot right here so that we can work on our logic skill. I feel like I have done the logic skill in The Sims more times than I've done any other skill. Uh, like you guys know, we're doing the career legacy challenge and um, on Twitch, a lot of the first careers, if you're going in alphabetical order, a lot of the first ones require you to max logic. So, gosh, I feel like I have done it so freaking much and I'm so over it. It's not the most fun skill to, to, to work on. There isn't much you can do. I mean, you can do like puzzles, you can play chess and you can read books. Unless you do like these like scientists, like machines and stuff. All right, there we go, a little chess station. So we do have a club to boost our skills. I'm gonna add, uh, is there, is play chess on here? Play chess, it is, fantastic, all right. So also, what are my lot traits on this house? Sunny aspect, child's play, and home studio. Okay, we're gonna get rid of home studio and child's play for now. I'm gonna add science layer, because that helps with logic, and then I'm also gonna add the one for comedy, uh, convivial. Yes, yes, convivial. That should help. All right, let's play some chess. Let's work on our logic skill because we have absolutely, n we're at zero right now. So let's just get that going. Also, let me look at the collections one more time because we haven't uh, completed a single collection, which is really unfortunate. Oh my god, like with all of the packs and stuff that have come out, there are just so many freaking collections. Um, we can go to 6am because we do have a fully upgraded rocket. So I think that like space rocks, aliens, all of that good stuff should be pretty easy. Tassels, yeah, I, I really don't see us completing all of these. I think you get points for like however many collections you do finish mm, i'm not really sure though i just need to buy like a crap ton of seed packs and hope that we get some of these for the gardening collection also like i feel like i could put a lot of these into our refrigerator but i don't know what happens when you delete a fridge does it delete the inventory in the fridge as well kind of worried about that oh okay so we have to add money to the vault i see and then we can start making money up in here. All right, let's put five 
million into the vault? Oh. Oh my god. Look at all of that. That is actually hilarious. I've never used this vault before. So yeah, that's a vibe. That's a huge vibe. I wonder what happens when you when you add like more than five million. All right. He reached logic level three. That's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and end, end the gathering. Oh my god, I didn't even start it. What the heck? No, end. Okay. No, end. Thank you. Um, so I think that what we should do now is we need to acquire recycled materials. So we need a recycler. So why don't we like go to Evergreen Harbor and while we're there, we could visit uh, Sarah. Pretty sure there's a recycler at this community space. So let's go there. Oh, it's a blazer. It's a blazer here in Evergreen Harbor right now. All right, what do we want to recycle? What is in our inventory that we can recycle? Also, who put the love day decorations up? That's cute. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what that is, but let's recycle that. Uh, we have, what? Where did we get an Amazonite harvest knife? Let's do that, let's do that. Don't need it. Uh, why do we have a hot, what the heck? There's so, oh, is this from our, this must be from our like, household inventory because holy cannoli there's so much in here whatever i think that should be enough for for our work look at that you received your first bits and pieces let's go all right so we did everything that we need to do for our work let's go ahead and visit our girl and our little dota i'm excited to see her i wish sims and unplayed households would get promotions too like i wish like they would like excel in their career because I find that they just like kind of stay stagnant, which is not realistic at all. <laughs> What's up guys? Hello, nice outfit. I really like it. Oh my God, she's over there playing with the dog. <laughs> Offer gratitude. Look, oh, oh, she's not happy. She's not happy, but oh my gosh, the dog's around. It's just so cute here. Why are you angry? <laughs> I wish we could like ask what's wrong. Who put her outside in a heat wave? Wake up, baby cakes. Daddy's here. Sprinkles does not like us. This is the saddest thing ever. It's like the saddest animation. Oh Lord, oh Lord. These dogs though. My goodness. Hey girl, so cute guys, so freaking cute. What's this, wild nut soup? Don't mind if I do. All right, I mean, she seems fine, she seems good. I just like to come over here and just like build their relationship a little bit before uh, we decide to move them in. I think maybe when she becomes a toddler we will. I just don't want to deal with the infant stage, as you guys know. We've got work in two days. What are we supposed to do until then? So we've almost maxed charisma. That's pretty freaking amazing. Maybe we should just like do that really quick. Also, I can't freaking forget about graduation. I can't forget. It is tomorrow night. Good thing we don't have work. Also, how are we doing with this club? Did we max everything? Or did we get all the boosts already? Mm, not quite. Let's just get him. Also, Edison definitely needs some kind of hobby. I was thinking maybe we could like start a bowling club or maybe like snowboard. I think that would be kind of fun. Strongest confident vibe. I've never like fully explored the snowboarding aspect of the pack. Ooh, new personality trait, perfectionist. I love it, I love this trait, hell yeah. Um, he also reached level 10 charisma, so that's freaking dope. That's probably what triggered the perfectionist thing. That's dope though. So we max charisma, that's awesome. But yeah, I think I might get him a snowboard. I really want to like uh, explore the whole like making a snowboard video and that was like we've gone sledding we've gone snowboarding here and there like randomly but we've never really like fully explored it so that could be a fun hobby for him. Charlie's angry ghost is weeding out here. Thanks Charles! 
appreciate it very much. <laughs> oh, it's the first day of fall. It's air day and graduation is tonight as well. Man, I knew having two stoves would come in handy. I knew it. <laughs> Ooh, what are those? What did you make? Churros and you're not even gonna eat them? My boy, eat your churros. Or else I will, you know? So for air day, this is something that we have to do in the legacy challenge. For every single air, whatever they really like to do, you have to, uh, you know, do that, do those traditions. So we actually need to edit air day and we need to add um, Zoe's tradition. Zoe was super active. She was on the soccer team. Um, she also really liked to do sciencey stuff. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking like there's really no active things in here, is there? Oh, exercise. Yeah, let's add that for her. So basically this day is just to remember all the previous heirs and like do things that they that they like to do. It's kind of cute. Okay. Ren has you guys watching TV in here? She has a bunch of sea packets in her inventory that I want to open just to see if like we'll get any of the fruits and veggies that we need for the collection still. She's just chilling in the rain oh, orchard. <laughs> I will hear a noise if there is anything new that we get. I think we might need to buy like rare seed packets. Okay, absolutely nothing new in those ones, and that's fine. All right, rare seed packets, rare plant. Just buy a bunch. Uncommon plants? Huh. Buy a couple of these as well. And by a couple, I mean like 10. Because there are a couple of uncommon plants in the, uh, whatchamacallit that we don't have. All right, open. Nothing in those. Whoa, what's that? Seed shaped gemstone? Oh, there's one. It's like opening freaking Pokemon cards. <laughs> Hoping you get something you don't have. We got the magic beans for like plant sims. Oh, 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 we got something we didn't have. Blackberries. Okay, we need to buy more. Farmer fruits and flowers? What? What are these? Farmer veggies and herbs. Okay, nothing new from those packs. We got a cow plant berry. Dang, we're not getting anything new. Come on, just give me something. Shoot, okay. Seed shaped gemstone. Gaze into the multicolored depths of this mystical seed and just imagine what kind of wondrous plant will grow. If charged on the crystal grid. Wait, you can plant these? Um, you already know we're doing that. Are you kidding me right now? I need to know what these grow into. Also, can we can we plant these beans? No. Crystal tree? What? A crystal tree? Okay, that was just crazy. That is absolutely crazy. All right, what do we have left? Oh my god, we need two more things. One uncommon item, and then... This is for the base game collection, and then this thing right here, rare. Everything else is from, like, packs and stuff. Mmm! I like how it just keeps the base game collection, and then it says plus 28, like, with all of the expansion packs. Oh my god, I don't even know what this is. I need to look it up. I need to look it up. It kind of looks like the unidentified fruit object. Okay, yeah, it is. So you can find it in rare seed packets in the rocket ship. It's the reward for the Green Man mission. And then in the inventory of some 6M aliens, it may glitch and grow in the planters of the City Living Spice Festival. Okay, so it is a 6M plant. Hmm, we haven't gone to 6M in a minute. Unless you just... Stuff fruit and exhaust for it. Why would you do that? <laughs> Let's just explore space and see if we can get the Green Man mission real quick. All right, girly pop, have fun. Oh my God, you guys, we got, she had a capsule in her inventory and it was a uh, one that we don't have yet. So I'm just gonna add her to our little display case here. Um. Dang, that's dope. And then this is Wolfium. I'm pretty sure we already have Wolfium somewhere in here. All right, Edison has a bunch. 
a bunch of these little uh what are what are even are these i don't even know these blocks doesn't look like any of them are new god that's so annoying <gasps> we got the green man <gasps> Okay, 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 okay. I don't understand. I feel like we successfully did the uh, the green man quest, but we did not get the seed that we need. Ugh, all right. You gotta go explore again. Sorry, my girl. Look at how cute and peaceful it is over here. I love our pond. That's so cute. <laughs> Check this out. The weather machine from Seasons has an upgrade where you can advance the season completely. Allows the machine to advance the season. That is so cool. Oh my God, we missed graduation. Guys! <laughs> ah! I suck. I suck and that is it. Holy crap, there was one thing I wanted to do in this episode and I just completely forgot. My bad. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll do it some other time. But look, our crystal trees are growing. No bee or <laughs> I'm trying really, really hard to get this freaking seed, you guys. I might just have to buy more rare seed packets because this doesn't seem to be working out for me. I'm gonna move this cloning machine inside because it keeps breaking from the rain and it's pissing me off. Oh. Ren got the active trait. Honestly, yeah. I think that's pretty good. Also, we got some freaking... We got some aliens from that trip. Live space porcupine? Did that help? Yes, we have 5 out of 10 aliens now. <gasps> I think we should keep exploring space. Sorry, Ren, but this is your job now. To explore space and help with the freaking collections. I appreciate it really need a light down here it is extremely dark and i cannot see anything that i'm doing i would love to uh like redecorate this as well we don't spend enough time down here because i haven't been like focusing on the collections like at all i kind of want to make like separate rooms for all of the different all of the different collections i think that would be fun and each room would be like themed that would be fun, actually. Oh man, that is a project for another day, but honestly, like, that sounds really fun. Okay, it looks like we've got our aliens over here, so let me grab this one. Put them, um... We got aliens and frogs over here. We've got gems and crystals. Uh, our fossils, some more gems, our space stones, our mycem trophies, our... Are these potions of plentiful needs? Potion of youth, we needed 10 of those. Got our microscope slides, our eggs, and our... What are these? Just random ass potions? I guess so. I really need to clear out our inventory as well. This is just crazy. We've got all of these like jungle adventure artifacts as well. Man, it would be so cool to just have like a museum of all of this stuff down here. Because we have some cool stuff. Ooh, we have a storage box. I can keep some stuff in there. You know what would be really cool? Actually, I'm gonna sell all of these. Oh my god. We have 99 plus of these quill cool fruits in our inventory. I need to like clean all of this out off camera, I think. <laughs> these quill fruits are like the easiest way to make money in this game. I will die on this hill. You can buy them from, if you have cottage living, you can buy them from the, the stall there. Look at all this money. Holy crap, it just keeps going. I really wish I could just like do sell all, but I can't for some reason. It's so annoying. Dude, this is ridiculous. Can I like click it and then just hit delete? Oh, no, it just sells one. Oh my god, man. That's so annoying, you guys. There's 1,148 of them in there. <laughs> Help. Ooh, we got an archaeologist workbench. I'll deal with this stuff later, but wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay. He's just chilling. He's working on his logic skill. Ren is exploring space. Evangeline is sleeping. It's all good stuff. Oh, look at him in his little work outfit. Oh, Poor guy. I wanted him to have a push the plentiful needs before he left, but too late. I have this berry on my cursor and it's really pissing me off. Like, go away, berry. She needs to uh, work on her musical skill. Uh, either guitar or violin, so I think I'm gonna have to buy her a guitar. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about how my game looks now. So, for the longest time, I was playing without a reshade, and I literally don't know how I was doing that because I hate the way my game looks without it now. So let me just show you guys. So this is with the reshade on, and this is with it off. It's like so dramatic and it's really making me like realize how just kind of like flat and dull the game is on its own. Nice, level four already, let's go. So yeah, I've just been like dabbling with reshades and stuff and this one is by far my favorite. It just gives it such a like deep and rich coloring and like it's just so much more contrasted and gorgeous so this one is called dove 2.0 by kindle spice i feel like it's a really popular one but uh if you guys are interested in doing reshades highly recommend it um especially if you just like want the, just this like cozy beautiful vibe um all i did was i searched up on youtube like how to use reshades in the sims and i just followed the tutorial step by step it's kind of tricky i'm not gonna lie and Depending on the reshade that you use, it might make your game lag a little bit. So like depending on your computer as well. But if you have a computer that is like strong enough and fast enough to support a reshade, I highly recommend it. It's just so beautiful and you're seriously not going to be able to live without it. It's kind of like using CC and not using CC. Once you start, you can't stop <laughs> kind of thing. But I definitely think it makes it worth it, especially if you build and stuff. It just makes your builds look so much better. Not an ad, by the way. Not sponsored. All right, Ren got promoted. I totally forgot that she joined the lawyer career. Totally forgot. Uh, but she did get promoted, so that's dope. Congratulations, Ren. Now that you're home, why don't you, yeah, drink some of your packs, and then we're gonna go into space again. Wait, what? Alongside profit warnings and dire predictions of financial financial calamity edison finds that his job is at serious risk of layoffs might be that working hard helps edison dodged the layoff bullet but who knows where did that come from i have literally never seen that in this game before and i'm extremely concerned what the actual heck not the layoffs dude boring work work was work another boring day doing boring things I don't think he likes this career, guys. Maybe we should get laid off. Our guy is not happy! Oh no! He took this job to impress his girlfriend and she doesn't even care. She doesn't even talk to us. She doesn't even hit us up. Like, ever. Oh, poor guy. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I think we might need to change careers. Oh gosh. Interview a homeowner about utilities. So boring. Maybe we should do something else. I mean, we've already secured the child. She doesn't ever talk to us. Oh my god, I just realized she's still a teen. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to fix that right now. Okay, she's here. All right, so sim command, set age, young adult. All right. All right, all right, all right. We need to figure out her third trait, too. Oh, nice! Evangeline got promoted, too! Hell yeah! Um, dance machine. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense because she's a music lover. Oh, she's infant six out of five, so she should be aging up soon. 
I'm wondering, should we just move them in now? It's a little too quiet in here. It's too freaking quiet. <laughs> I think we should. That way I can micromanage, you know? I love micromanaging in The Sims. Ask to join households. The last time I tried to do this, it was a little bit glitched. So fingers crossed this works. I don't know, we'll ask her to join the household. We'll see how they act now that they'll be around each other all the time. And if things don't really go well and she's not really feeling us, like if she doesn't show us enough love, we might have to we might have to kick her to the curb, y'all. All right, Sarah, you're coming too. And um, I don't think we need any other money, but we should probably take probably take one of the dogs. I'm thinking we should just take Rocky because Sprinkles doesn't like us. Maxi is Tony's dog. So yeah, let's just do that. Okay, it worked. Thank God. All right. So is it your birthday today or what? It is. It totally is. Frequently hiccups, hates wake up time, good appetite, and intense. Oof. Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and like build a little baby area for her up here. Um, we're gonna age her up into a toddler. So I think that we should just like make this her room right here. Okay, so she's gonna be a toddler. So we're gonna need a toddler bed, a potty, and just a bunch of toys. I love this sheep thingy. It's so cute. I use it whenever I can. Uh, this potty is adorable as well. This little barn freaking Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know, you can size it down and it'll still be usable, which is dope because I feel like the dollhouses are way too massive. Um, let's see. Wow. I really held that note, didn't I? Can toddlers use this? Supports toddlers movement skill. Okay, kind of ugly, but uh, we have enough room to get it, so I think we should. And then let's get one of these slides as well. And we'll get her an iPad. She's gonna be an iPad kid. And then we will get... Hmm, should we get a high chair? I don't know. They don't really work that well. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. We need to get her movement up like ASAP so that she can go up the stairs and stuff. But let's go ahead and age her up because uh, yeah, I don't want her to be an infant anymore. All right, music lover, dance machine, proper happy toddler. Um, relationships wise. I mean, she does love Edison. Very interesting, I don't know. I don't know if it's the proper trait that makes her act the way that she does. She likes gardening. Cool. You can take her to the garden then. <laughs> oh my god, I just clicked to see where she was at. Literally outside of the fence, sleeping with the dog. They are intersected. <laughs> this is hilarious. This dog, you can tell. Very protective of her. I think that was a good call that we took him. That's so funny, dude. Oh, we can age her up right here. Oh my God, I just made that kick for no reason. Gosh darn it, dude. Rocky's a troublemaker? Oh no. Maybe we didn't make the right choice. <laughs> All right, toddler's, toddler trait, here we go. Inquisitive, I love it, I love it. And, oh good, she got happy infant. I knew that Having Teddy raise her was the move. I knew it. All right. Let's go into cast. <laughs> Rocky's like, oh, happy birthday. You're filthy, bro. Oh my God, I might want to change his traits. He's just going to be dirty all the time because he's a troublemaker. F in chat. Since Edison had a girl for his first child, this is going to be the next heir. Firstborn child of the opposite gender. So, I don't know. I don't know if we should have more kids or if we should just just have the one. Like, what do you guys think? Those are some crazy brows you've got. Let's just tone those down a little bit. 
I downloaded so much new CC from some creators that I just discovered. Peachy Fairy, Daylife Sims, and shoot, there was one more. Twisted Cat. Holy crap. So good. If you guys do not have anything from those CC creators, make sure to go check them out because damn, I was shook in a good way. Like so excited to have all this new CC. She's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unique looking toddler. Like I, all of my toddlers end up looking the same, but she looks, is it the skin detail? Kinda, she looks very like unique. I'm a fan. Man, I cannot wait to see what she looks like as an adult. I'm so stoked. She aged up with these freckles. Honestly, like I think they're pretty cute, so we should keep them. Does she have hamburger head? Why am I detecting a little bit of hamburger? We haven't had hamburger head in so long. Like I feel like with Edison, it kind of went away. But guys, it might be back. It might be back. Also, I asked you guys what you thought about uh, keeping her blonde. And um, a lot of you guys were like, oh, we like just had a blonde haired, brown eyed heir. Like maybe we should switch it up. Um, I agree though. I think it would be like kind of cool if like the older that she gets, the darker her hair gets. So when she was an infant, it was like super white platinum blonde like this. Now that she's a toddler, like, I don't know if we should like darken it up a little bit or wait until she becomes a child. Maybe we can darken it up a little bit like this. I think it looks really cute. It really like uh, complements her skin tone a lot. She's got like a super strong jawline or just chubby cheeks. I can't really tell, but <laughs> she's adorable. Our little inquisitive babe. All right, guys, here's our little munchkin. Here's her everyday outfit. Here is her formal. I didn't really change anything for formal because I doubt we're going to see it. This was the randomized outfit that it gave me, but change these like black shoes um here's her sleepy wear very comfy party wear swim hot weather and cold weather this one's really cute <laughs> um but yeah she's adorable can't wait to see what she looks like when she ages up and then this little guy right here troublemaker hairy and friendly these dogs are always up to nothing good. They will often misbehave and can be encouraged to do so. Ugh, I hate that so much. So I'm gonna change it to independent. Please don't kill me, please don't hate me. I just brought the dog for Sarah. So she felt more comfortable and felt more like she was at home. Okay, oh yeah, we also need to buy some dog stuff. Some like beds and food bowls and all that jazz. Super excited to have them in the house though. Should be a little more, a little more noisy, a little more crazy. All right, yeah, look at that. Look at our full household. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. I really wanna know your guys' opinion on what we should do about Edison's job because he is clearly not happy and he has, he's in danger of getting laid off. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe something else, maybe something different. We also need to decide which job we want to give uh, Teddy as well. She seems to really like music. She really likes dancing. So, so I think this that's kind of a no brainer for her. Something musical. Um, I forget what what we got though as far as music. Entertainer. Um, that's really the only one that we got. Oh, it's also Halloween, so we can celebrate that in the next one too. Or even like social media. Let me know, entertainer or social media. She is music lover, dance machine, and proper. Let me read what proper is exactly. These Sims tend to disapprove of other Sims' improper behavior, such as mean or mischievous socials, but find themselves happier in formal outfits and have a much easier time with friendly and romantic socials. Huh, maybe we should switch up her style in the next one as well. Like give her more like formal wear. 
But yeah, guys, let me know your opinions. Let me know what you think Edison should be doing for a job. Let me know what you think Teddy should be doing for a job. Let me know what you think of little Miss Sarah over here as well. Um, she's just honestly just so cute. And uh, I'm excited to actually like play with a toddler again. It's been a while since I've done that. I usually just skip this phase in uh, all the other challenges that I've been doing, but... Uh, <laughs> this should be this should be fun. Legacy is definitely a switch up because we actually take our time with this challenge and we really like deep dive into their personalities and things like that and like live through all the life stages. So yeah, I love it. I love it in that sense. I'm also super excited about these crystal trees. I want them to I want them to grow or is that is that are they as big as they're gonna get? I don't even know. But that's pretty cool. I don't even know if that came with the new pack or not, but hell yeah. I'm gonna spend some time uh, decluttering the household inventory. This poor girl. <laughs> decluttering the household inventory, decluttering all of everyone's inventories and just like, just, you know, just do some general housekeeping that's kind of boring to do on camera. This dog is filthy and wet. And now we need to buy a bathtub. We need to get a bathtub to bathe the dog and to bathe the little girl. Anyway, let's play Blick Block Baby to get that movement up because you do need to go up and down the stairs. I do want to focus on her skills. I want to potty train her. I want to do all that good stuff. But yes, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Again, leave me all your opinions and thoughts in the comments. And um, I will see you guys very, very soon with another video. If you would like to come join us on Twitch, I stream every other day. So tomorrow I'll be streaming. Um, so every other day after that, in case you are new to streams or whatever, it's really fun. I think that you would enjoy coming and hanging out and um, just getting to know the community over there as well. I hope that your week is fantastic. I hope that you're feeling motivated and ready to take on uh, this new week. I have had kind of a rough morning, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've just been going through it mentally, you know? Just like struggling to find meaning and purpose and I'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys are experiencing that as well. It's pretty common actually in this world but um, yeah I've just been like listening to podcasts and just trying to like feed my brain with um, good things you know like instead of just rotting away on stupid social media I'm just trying to feed my brain with good things in hopes that it'll help. But yeah, anyway, that got really deep really fast at the end of this video, but <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.